Hello everyone, welcome back to Planet Zoo, welcome back to Sundar Zoo, and welcome to another habitat build. Now to be honest, only about 50% of this episode is the actual habitat build, so if that's what you're here to see, I'll probably skip halfway through the video, um, because the first half is literally just messing about with some paths and some sort of public areas, which I don't get... 100% complete in this because we still need benches, lamps and you know all the other details that go in but we've got most of the layout of the path work and the areas complete this took a lot of mucking about with to get it right it was actually a pain in the bum to do um, just trying to get water in the middle of the plaza here so several times I tried the thing where you put a sort of habitat barrier around the edge and put the water in it and that just didn't seem to work for me <laughs> I tried it about three times I think and um, the water went halfway up which as I think it's supposed to do anyway but then I couldn't lower the barrier and that's just not how I wanted it um, it just didn't look right so I did a really more fiddly technique of taking the path out um, you know how fiddly these paths are in these games anyway they're the spawn of the devil <laughs> I took the path out and then built the water underneath it and then put the path back in but it really just didn't want to go in so it took me absolutely ages to do it um, and then I end up putting in a sort of trim to go around the edge so that it looks like a man-made water feature rather than just a hole that's been dug into the ground um, and I think we get something that looks quite good in the end because um, I I worked on this in several different uh, on several different days and I think I started it like nearly two weeks ago so now I'm really struggling to remember what um, was my process when I was actually building this um, but I believe, yeah, maybe that is it done with the water. Then I believe I take all this out, or raise it up again, and take the path out and do the water again. Yeah, because there's bits of terrain that just won't go any further under the path. Um, it, basically, this is just something that did not want to go together the way I wanted it to. Um, <laughs> it was massively inconvenient there you go you can see what I've done now I've dug all the water out but then the problem then is getting the path back in um, so yeah I have several goes at, at doing this with the path and I think that's just one of the things with this game you do have to play about with things quite a lot to get them right um, in the end the sort of red paving path that goes over the path the cover um, the guests feet do clip through it but that like to get it right without any bits of path showing through I just have to have it like that so we're just gonna have to deal with it and that's how it's gonna stay I'm afraid um, I did have in my mind the idea of doing some different shaped water features like this but I, now I just don't know if I've got room because I want to get a gift shop in there um, maybe some other sort of food store uh, and possibly another habitat I'm thinking like maybe um, a turtle or like a Galapagos turtle or is that the one the Galapagos tortoise I know nothing about animals by the way <laughs> so I just check sort of where they're from and see if they'll fit into the area and that's about it um, either that or some flamingos or something like that I'm also considering changing all this front area into the grass terrain because um, I don't know if this desert sand really works but I'm not sure about that yet and um, not entirely entirely sure what I'm doing with that um, I do know that the um, there will be some sort of Australian area in this park obviously because it's the height tomorrow for the Australia pack coming out the new DLC 
Um, so I'm looking forward to getting that and having a play about with it. Hence why this video is going up today. Um, so that we're ready to move on to another Australian habitat tomorrow or the day after. Once I've, I'll probably play about a bit in an empty sandbox with it first just to see what pieces we have and how I can use them and stuff and have a look at the actual animals um, and then I'll get building something in this zoo so hopefully by the end of the week we'll have something up from there of feeling koalas maybe although I feel like play koala might beat me to that I know he'll be rushing to um, to get koalas in, in one of his zoos so yeah we'll see uh, we'll see how it goes I'm really looking forward to the pack looks like there's some really nice scenery pieces in there I really hope we get some more recolorable stuff um, so that it can be used for different themes as well not just you know the one thing because otherwise everyone ends up building roughly the same things you know obviously still putting you can still put your own stamp on it but you know I want to I want some pieces that we can use for different things Um, for some reason at that point I changed the colors of all of them path bits and then changed my mind and didn't like it because um, it just looked too similar to the buildings and we needed a bit of variation with the color so I changed it back and we start working on this ramp today and I'm sure this was a two-hour build on its own <laughs> without getting anything else done um, that's just how long this took just trying to get pieces lined up and everything um, so what I'm going to do is come back to you when we start building the actual habitat and talk about that because there's not really a lot to say about this ok so enjoy
Welcome back then. So as you can see, we've got quite a lot done there. We've done that whole sort of upstairs plaza, which leads to the habitat. Um, it's all an empty space at the moment, but I will be getting some stuff in to break it up, like some planters, benches, uh, maybe some sort of pavilion. Oh, excuse me, some sort of pavilion in there as well, uh, just to finish the area off. Um, but for now, it looks okay. Um, as you can see, I've also made a custom um, viewing point using the smallest sort of metal pieces I could find in the game. Um, they look really cool. Um, I've just curved them round um, to make a sort of curved roof, and then I used one of the letters. I think it was the bracket or something, um, just to use as a sort of trim border type thing on there. So that's the viewing area complete. Um, I have to mention actually I forgot to say before when I was building the fountain big shout out to Paulsley he's a very popular uh, Planet Zoo gamer um, his new one of his new zoos that he started on gave me the inspiration for that uh, fountain water feature piece in the middle he built something kind of similar in in his uh, at the entrance area for his new zoo and it, I thought it looked great so I sort of had my own go doing something similar there yeah, so yeah go check out his channel Paulsley on YouTube Um, back to the habitat then it's the antelope we're building um, our habitat 4 now these were an absolute nightmare to build a habitat for I didn't think they'd uh, be climbing or jumping that they could easily get out of the habitat as it was um, I didn't make it deep enough I, but I didn't want this habitat too deep and that was the problem getting the right balance there um, between having it a massive hole in the ground like I've done with some of the ones in my other zoo which there was a, a lion habitat but they were about five stories down into a hole in the ground and it just did not look right and um, I thought right we'll keep it pretty near to the ground because they're probably not animals that can get out much I should have paid more attention when I was selecting the animal type um, but we fix it in the end anyway like I use a load of rock work and some fencing and stuff just to stop them getting out um, and yeah like like I always do these animals are quite content in the habitat um, although a couple of them do start fighting at one point so I think I trade one of them off and release it to the wild or whatever and um, yeah the reason I selected these animals is purely because they fit in the North America uh, sort of idea and I thought that's probably what this entrance plaza no, well not entrance plaza this but this area of the zoo the entrance area would be something quite neutral um, and I, I didn't really want it to be heavily themed like you can see all the themings all, like really generic um, so yeah they were just one of the animals you don't want like um, your really popular animals and at the front of the zoo so I just thought this would be something uh, something that would fit in here quite nicely for the shelter then um, we do decide to change this at the end and give it more of a sort of pyramid uh, shape roof with the glass pieces um, so this isn't how it looks finally but I do edit that off camera um, just because I felt it looked a bit flat as it was but all in all, I'm really happy with how the building turned out. Um, some nice little detailing on there. The using the the pillars to build a rounded sort of shaped entrance for them to get in and out of. And yeah, um, all in all, yeah, pretty happy with the build to be honest. Um, didn't put an awful lot in the habitat itself obviously just the things that the animals need so like yeah the 
you know, the, the, the uh, what are they called? You know, the toys and the feeders and everything. Um, as usual, my terminology is just absolute crap. <laughs> I can't think of a word for anything. Um, but yeah, it it's not a massive habitat, and I think it gets everything in that it sort of needs. But I am going to leave you now for the rest of the build and we'll talk about it at the end. There we go then, that's pretty much the habitat complete. Like I say, I'm gonna add, do a couple of tweaks to it off camera before you see the cinematic shot. Um, we're gonna be doing proper cinematic shots now as well. Um, so it will look a lot better than before. We'll also do some stills as well, just so you can see the animals sort of walking around in their habitat. Um, but yeah, give us, a, give us a comment, let me know what you thought of the video and I hope to be getting the Australia pack tomorrow and having a video up for it later in the week. Uh, sorry if I sound a bit bunged up today, I think I've got a cold coming on so that might determine when commentary for the next video gets done but hopefully it won't interrupt the plans too much. So thank you for watching. Um, Hope you enjoy the cinematics and I'll see you in the next one.
Bye-bye.